So this is chart setup number one and what we are looking at here is the ES. Now the reason we look at the ES, I'm looking for uh, the S&P index and what the chart setups are telling me on an intraday basis. So as you know, uh, the SPX doesn't have any volume, so you want to switch over to the ES. There's usually a difference of about two or three points on the ES and the SPX. So if you see the ES is 2570, SPX is 2573, but they generally move the same way. So the markets just opened. It's about uh, 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern time on uh, October 31st. What we have here is a simple, it's, it's a moving average crossover. You can see that there are two lines. Uh, the 5 period and the 20 period and then we have the volume I also have the pivot points okay so this is the pivot point so if you look at the studies slightly advanced notice now it doesn't mean you jump right on that you want to make sure that um, the turnaround is actually happening and so as you can see now let me zoom in a little bit so you can see that now suddenly some higher volume came uh, you know higher volume came in right here so that's a good signal um, and then some higher volume without there's too much dropping in price there's not a lot of drop in price in fact there's none um, and so now this bar we would expect it to move up so if that happens then that's a good signal so let's see how that works and um, so now let's see what's happening in this now actually you know it's looking like it's going to go down further so let's see this is very interesting so that's why you don't jump on the first signal that you get uh, on the you know on on the day trading thing because you have to be very careful you want to watch for the signal to develop so let's see how this develops this bar is important for this particular chart setup and also the price action on the SPX this morning so uh, I'm just going to be quiet and just watch this for uh, a minute or so. I expect it to go up, but let's see. It, it didn't show that promise, but that's the kind of tricks these guys play. So we have to be uh, you know, aware of that. I do expect it to go up. Let's see. And it's also on the pivot midline. So if it breaks the pivot midline, then the downtrend will be established because the flow traders are also looking at these pivot points. So uh, let's see how this uh, action goes. Um, looks like it may turn around. I'm expecting it to turn around and go up, but let's see. There it is so that initial move was a fake so this is how we would want to read this particular chart setup these pivot points are very important because the flow traders look at these things and uh, I'm going to uh, do a separate video and I'll show you some previous examples of how these pivot points work and it's really pretty amazing that uh, uh, and once again it's because uh, it's uh, you know many people are looking at it that's exactly why those points work so Anyway, I'll wrap this up for now. Uh, as you saw, this was a good signal and it is still developing, obviously, but you can, we can certainly get into the day trade as soon as this bar ends and which would be at uh, 10.05. So in a couple of minutes, well, once this bar ends, we'll have a very clear picture of uh, how the trend may be developing over the next uh, couple of hours or so. Thanks.